When selling, are you using trial closes? What's up, everybody? This is Kevin Daisy here. So are you using trial closes? And to be honest with you, this is not something that I have practiced a lot. We are taking some new sales training, and it's really opened my mind and changed a lot with how I approach things. So I want to share that here with you all as I learn it and as we trust these things out. But trial closes are things along the way. So if you're giving a presentation to a potential client, the trial close is really a little agreements along the way. So you're not asking them to buy it or purchase or sign up with you or sign a contract, but you're you're kind of seeing if they, they like where it's going and they can agree that they need this. And so you're getting these little agreements along the way. So you're kind of trying to build this ownership that they can see themselves with this service or product. So for example, you could say things like, hey, so when we get your new website up and running, you know, what are you, you know, what are you excited about? That's going to change your business. And so you're, you're kind of saying things in a way that they already have it and that we're already going to go forward. Uh, so it's just tweaking it a little bit, but yeah, well, I can't wait to get started on the new website. Uh, you know, when we, when we get to that point, you know, what's, what's the expected timeline that you think you'd, you'd be happy with or, Uh, What kind of timeline would you like to see as far as when we start the new website to when we launch the new website? And then they're, you know, they're thinking, oh, well, I'd like to have it done in two months. It'd be great or three months. And so they're already talking as if they've already gone forward with you and you're kind of just, you know, waiting to set the hook. At some point, you know, if they say, oh, well, I'm ready to go forward or whatever, then boom. Okay, now we can ask for the close or, or go over the terms or whatever. But try to start doing some trial closes. You're feeling it out. Imagine if you showed a presentation or showed pricing or whatever You say, hey, what do you like about this? What do you like about what I presented to you here? What do you like about how we do things? And then they're going to only say the good things because you, you, you ask them that and say, Oh, I love that you guys offer this. I love that you guys uh, have all inclusive pricing. I like that you guys, you know, fully support the website ongoing and things like that. So they're buying into it along the way. So try trial closes. They're you know really low risk. Don't try to be salesy with them, uh, but you're just trying to rephrase how you say things and then you know make them feel like they've already committed to it. Hey there, it's Eric J. Olson. I wanted to let you know about my book, Million Dollar Journey, how to launch a seven-figure business. This is the story of what it took for me to go from freelancer with no clients, no employees, no revenue, to growing a million dollar business. It took me eight years and I made a lot of mistakes and all of those mistakes and more importantly, lessons learned are in this book. And we have chapter takeaways, five to 15 takeaways that you could apply right now to your business. Check it out on Amazon, Million Dollar Journey by me, Eric J. Olson.